So this is our sort of main response bag for pretty much any job that we attend. Um, so in the bag, we've kind of got uh, probably one of the more important elements that we carry. Everything, first of all, everything's tagged and dated. So if we come in on a morning and we get a job straight away, we can just quickly go in, check that it's got all of the pouches against the checklist and that each pouch is tagged and we know that we've got all the kit we need. So obviously when we like go through them initially, we'll, we'll check the kit and then re-tag them. So this one specifically is the airway roll. So a lot, whenever we're providing an anesthetic to a patient, um, we'll will use this roll really and it'll, it has all the different sizes and different types of airway management uh, bits and pieces uh, with laryngoscopes which help us uh, view the vocal cords to make sure that we're passing a, a tube into the right part into the right place uh, we also have all of our drugs set up so our anesthetic drugs fentanyl morphine midazolam ketamine and rock uranium so that's all the drugs we need for and like a cocktail for anesthesia and we also have some basic surgical equipment in here as well. Uh, the other bits and pieces, so we have um, some splint agents, some circulation bits and pieces in the red, large, red, large red pouch. In the large blue we've got bag valve masks to help with ventilation. Uh, oxygen masks in the small blue. Uh, the drugs case with all of our medications in. Uh, we've also got uh, uh, intraosseous access so you'll see when people put uh, cannulas in in people's arms to give drugs if for example we can't see anyone's veins and uh, we can't get intravenous access we can go intraosseous which what what that is is essentially drilling into the marrow of the bone so we can deliver drugs directly that way and we'll usually do that just below the knee and the top of the tibia or into the head of the humerus. We've got some max back splinting, so maxillofacial injuries. So if someone's uh, injured their face fairly significantly and it's bleeding heavily, we can splint it with some bite blocks and some nasal epistats, which we place into the nose and inflate to stop any bleeding. Uh, and we also carry uh, an oxygen cylinder in each bag. Uh, the tube out the top, um, that holds uh, something called a bougie. And so when we're placing a tube down someone's throat to breathe for them, uh, what we'll do is before we place the tube, we'll place the bougie because it's smaller and easier to place. And then we'll railroad the tube over the top of them. So that's what these are for, which is why they're out here. They need to be kept straight. And so yeah, so that's our red bag.